Harlequins maintain their 100% record at the top of the table, and Leicester slumped to their biggest ever league defeat at the hands of Saracens. On Friday night, Sale made it three straight wins with a 29-21 victory over Jim Malinder's Northampton. The Saints looked on course for an away victory until Welsh scrum half Dwayne Peel forced his way over the whitewash. And David Seymour made sure of the points with a late try. Title holders Saracens condemned Leicester to their biggest ever home defeat on Saturday. Sarries ran in six tries to continue Leicester's miserable start to the season. Charlie Hodgson crossed for his first Saracens try. He finished the day with a personal tally of 20 points and was one of five Saracens players to get on the score sheet. Gloucester ran out comfortable winners in the West Country derby. Darren Davidjuk's pushover try put Gloucester in the lead in the 37th minute. And the Sherry and Whites had all but secured the win by the time Charlie Sharples outpaced Nick Scott to score his second try of the season. London Irish earned their first five-point haul of the campaign with a 46-29 win over bottom side Newcastle Falcons. Topsy Ojo grabbed the first try of the afternoon. Irish also had a penalty try and two Jonathan Joseph scores, the second of which secured the bonus point. Harlequins made it four wins from four games with a win over newly promoted Worcester at six ways. They trailed 15-3 going into the last quarter, as all of Worcester's points came from the boot of the ever-reliable Andy Goode in the first half. Sam Smith's try got Quinns to within one score, and a penalty try in the 73rd minute, converted by fly half Nick Evans, snatched the victory for leaders Quinns. Exeter continued their impressive start to the season with a 21 points to 11 win over Wasps. Tom Johnson scored the host's first try of the afternoon, but Wasps led at half-time thanks to two penalties from Ryan Davis on his return to Sandy Park. Two penalties from Ignacio Mieres put the Chiefs ahead in the second half, before veteran prop Chris Budgin barged his way over from close range to make the score 21-6. Exeter moved down a place to third in the table, Wasps slipped to eighth. Interviews, features, highlights and full match replays available now from all the weekend's Premiership games. Sign up today at premiershiprugby.tv.